Hey, how's your internet browsing for today? Find anything to drown out your attention and feel that fear of being a lonely waste of space with no trace in your place? Well, fuck your depressive perspective. We're going to talk about some weird ass music I found. If you surely have been on the internet for a while, you would have heard of the concept of a meme and shitposting. But what if you harness that shitposting energy and vibe into music, the Reese's Puff lines, and the Brotherman Bills who prolong making music for a good time? Brotherman Bill. The Wesley Willis's and the Daniel Johnson's who are fighting their demons for writing songs about walking a cow or sucking a caribou's ass. Whether they're genuine or ironic, we enjoy listening to something that's so bad it's good, or so weird, we're still listening. Now, speaking of ironic shitposting energy and harnessing it for music, we'll talk about a genre that you can find on Bandcamp and just say, what the fuck is this? A proper and appropriate response to the name, the album covers, and the related term for shitposting, shitcore. Shitcore is a music genre slash style that combines the need for shitposting with the drive for music. Ever wanted to create a rap about your autism? Record your shitting sessions? Or talk about your friend's small penis. This internet genre is unconventional, provocative, and just plain fucked. Now, some of you may compare this to outsider music. Here's the thing. Outsider music and shitcore have their differences, and the one major difference is self-awareness. Shitcore has self-awareness about how unconventional and just weird the music is, while outsider music doesn't exactly have that sort of self-awareness and just does it out of passion and with a sense of self-grandeur about how good mu their music is. Now we're going to go over a few examples of shitcore musicians that provided some of the most awe-inspiring pieces of art that you can ever see on the web. First, we're going to present the amazingly graceful band of talented intellectual musicians that go by the name Hitler Butt Sex. Such an amazing group with some fantastic albums like Cunting Scat Blood Orgy, Cock and Machine, and my personal favorite, Ethan Has a Small Dick with Cactus Smasher. Yes, this album, Ethan Has a Small Dick, proves that you can talk about one subject or phrase for more than 10 tracks, uh, 25 to be exact. This band is the definition of the phrase shits and giggles. If you wanted to describe this band, the hilarious and has some beautiful music is the best description that you can ever make. Especially when you're making love to your lover, Ethan. The next band is quite the example of shitcore, with some other elements like punk and noisecore. The band that goes by Cumrod. Beautiful name for a pretty sounding band. Not gonna lie, this band logo is fucking sick. And if they had a shirt with this logo, I would wear it. Of course, I would also have to describe the album covers, and one of them is. No, I'm not exclaiming a reaction. That is the description of the album cover and the name of one of their albums that I will use as an example of their work because surprisingly, it's the least graphic. Now, the concept of the album is where they just call everything that they happen to see as gay. Don't believe me? Here are the track names. You are gay. Being gay is gay. Incoherent vocals are gay. Guitar is gay. Drums are gay. Breathing is gay. Anything other than power chords is gay. Song titles are gay. Pitch shifting is gay. Black metal is gay. Not lynching posers is gay. Bob Otis is too gay to be dead. Saying things are gay is gay. Lazy vocals are gay. Protesting is gay. Thinking about anything is gay. Africans are gay. Asians are gay. Blues is gay. Blues is gay part two. Production quality is gay. Sound is gay. Liberals are gay. Nazis are gay. Commies are gay. This shitty album is gay. Amazing stuff, really. Now, shitcore is, in essence, a shitposting genre that relies on being avant-garde, shocking, and just plain fucked. And yet, it's just so interesting to listen to because these peeps have the energy and drive to create shit like this. Now, for example, and the last example in the pure definition of shitcore, Autistic Rage Festival, a band that has an amazing album called Megatron Sings the Blues. The tracks on here will show you that these guys were sometimes either experimenting or just fucking around. Why? Honestly, I don't know. 
but I find it entertaining. As you may notice with these examples, these people aren't the most sensitive when it comes down to topics that a lot of people find immoral, problematic, controversial, disgusting, and just plain fucked. So I caution that if you want to look into shitcore, please remember that it's so unhinged and to take it with a grain of salt. The genre will absolutely destroy your perception of the avant-garde, the artsy-fartsy, and any sort of self-grandeur art that you can see from anybody. Ever wanted to see someone do an MS Paint cover? Or someone say everything is gay and shit? Well, Shitcore has it, and before you get into this genre, please be respectful to the death of your dignity and sanity, and listen with caution, but...